Pompano is found on many great restaurant menus, but nobody does it like Tenny at GW Finn's. This particular dish, we're going to do kind of a kind of a classic dish. We're going to do toasted almonds and brown butter on a sautéed pompano. And since this is such a nice big guy, I'm just going to take one side off of it and then go right back in the ice with the rest of it. I'm going to trim out the the belly part here. Look how pretty and white that fish is. That's a beautiful pompano. I am going to leave the skin on this. There's not really that many scales you have to worry about on this. I'm going to lightly score the skin, which is going to keep it from, uh, from bowing up when we cook the fish. Now I'm going to season that just with salt and pepper. Don't be afraid of salt. I said I like to use kosher salt because I can see it better. I can see it without reading glasses. I'm going to season the skin side too because that skin's good to eat. It's kind of like a little fish crackling. And I'm going to lightly dust this fish in just a little bit of plain flour. Now if you want a little bit a little bit stronger flavor, you could put a little bit of your Cajun land mixed seasoning on it, something of that nature. But that's all the all the, the breading that fish is getting. Just enough flour just to stick to it a little bit. Okay, I've got a little bit of olive oil here. Uh, you can use canola oil or, or olive oil for this. And that raises the smoke point of the butter. You get a nice flavor from sauteing. See, you see that smoking? It's pretty hot. You can certainly tell how hot it is when you put the butter in. Well, that smells good with nothing else in there. Your butter's nice and foamy like that. Now this is not really pan frying, it's just sauteing. So I'm going to dust off all the flour and I'm going to turn up the fire just a little bit. Put that guy right in here. Now while that's cooking, we're going to be coloring our almonds off. What I have here is slivered almonds. Sliced almonds are very good as well. Now these are going to be done in straight butter. And I turn my heat down to kind of moderate low. Put the almonds right in there like that. Now these require a lot of attention. Can't turn my back on these because I want to make sure they get evenly brown. Now this is not only going to make the, the toasted almonds, this is going to be the foundation for our sauce too. So we're going to have an almond flavored brown butter, which we're going to add our lemon juice and parsley to a little bit later. You can see how that, uh, that butter is browning in there. Turn that down just a little bit, but don't, don't worry about a little color like that. That's a great flavor. It's about time to cook that. Now when I'm turning a fish with this much uh, oil in the pan, I'm going to tilt the pan to me this way so the oil runs down to the bottom. So when I flip it over, it doesn't splash all over me. So I burn myself less that way. Well, that's a nice color on that side, isn't it? And you can see it trying to bow up a little bit, but if I had not scored the skin, it would be pumped up like when you fry bologna. See, my almonds are starting to brown. So I want to keep them moving around a good bit there. because they will burn on you. Now you could just take this browned almonds and brown butter and pour right over that fish and it would be great to eat. But we're gonna, we're gonna add a little something to that. We're gonna add some fresh chopped parsley and some lemon juice. Now I'm gonna do this right at the point that I'm taking it off the fire. This guy's gonna be ready in about 15 or 20 seconds. Because when this lemon juice and parsley hit that butter, it starts to foam up. I want to go right over the top of the fish with it. Okay.
That's a simple but a fabulous dish. That's pompano with brown butter and toasted almonds. GW Finn's is a great restaurant with dinner items so fresh they print a new menu daily. Call Christine and tell her CT said to give you the best seat in the house.